One of the most common mistakes I see people make when it comes to meditation is that they start one style of meditation that doesn't quite suit them and then they give up completely thinking they're rubbish at meditating. <laughs> but by the end of this video, you will see that there are so many different styles of meditation. There's something to suit everybody. So boop that like button and let's dive in. Hiya lovely, I'm Shirley from Sacred Huntress and I help people to explore healing, well-being and spiritual purpose. Now meditation has so many different healing benefits, I'm so glad that you're here. And if you missed it, I explain the benefits of meditation in a different video which I'll put a link to in the description box below. But these um, different techniques that I'm going to speak about today come from nearly 30 years of experience of meditating myself. <laughs> I first started meditating when I was um, introduced to it at the age of 18 by a spiritualist medium. And in the meantime, I've had the pleasure of meditating with Buddhist monks, with Zen priests and lineage holders, a Christian vicar as well, a fellow sound therapists and Reiki masters, and Quakers, as well as Hare Krishna devotees. Now, I'm, I'm sure there are others that I haven't thought of, but they're the ones that came to mind. But hopefully you'll realise by the end of this video that there are so many different styles. And I'll invite you to pay close attention to whichever style actually resonates most strongly with you. And maybe give that a try. So the first meditation technique is the body scan technique. And what this involves is quieting your, your mind and obviously being still, usually laying down on the floor, or you can do it sitting up in a chair as well. But a body scan is basically focusing your conscious mind on different parts of your body and progressively relaxing them. Now, you may have done this yourself in a guided meditation or even at the end of a yoga session in a part of the session called Yoga Nidra. But body scan is a really beautiful place to start with meditation because it actively gives your mind something to do. <laughs> so it's a little bit easier than just trying to make your mind blank. So if you've not tried that yet, yeah, give it a go and see how it feels. The second meditation technique is focused meditation. Now this takes two forms. Focused meditation can either be internal or external. So for example, focused meditation internally would be focusing on the breath. And for the duration of the meditation session that you're experiencing, your conscious mind is focused solely on the inflow and the outflow of the breath. An external focused meditation is um, the most popular one I can think of is the candle meditation, where you literally sit and watch a candle flame. And anytime you notice yourself thinking, just bring your conscious mind back to watching the candle flame. Now, this is actually quite a good place to start if you find sitting still and, you know, you find that you, your mind is quite noisy if your eyes are closed. Try this technique, the candle technique, if you'd really like to um, start meditation but your mind gets a bit busy. <laughs> the third type of meditation or the third meditation technique is guided visualisation. Now this is where you close your eyes and your conscious mind is led either by a practitioner or by a recording. Your conscious mind is led to creating a scenario around you. So you may be guided to walk through a field or into a woodland or by the sea. And your conscious mind is busy creating that sensory experience for yourself and you're focusing on what you can see, what you can hear, what you can feel, what you can taste, what you can smell. And it's a beautiful way to focus your mind and produce 
a meditative effect. The fourth meditation technique is mindfulness meditation. Now mindfulness meditation originated in Buddhist teachings and it basically means watching the mind and just observing the mind, thinking and allowing the thoughts to flow through your mind without judgment. Now those of you who may have read Eckhart Tolle, he also speaks about becoming the watcher of thoughts. <laughs> so that is the fourth type of meditation, simply being still and observing the process of the mind without judgment. The fifth meditation technique is mantra meditation. Now this originated in both Hindu and Buddhist teachings and it involves reciting either a word or a phrase over and over again so that your conscious mind is focused on the word or the phrase. And you may do this internally so it may be a word or phrase that you repeat in your mind or it may be a word or phrase that you actually say out loud. So that is the fifth type of meditation technique. The sixth type of meditation technique is sound meditation. Now this involves allowing yourself to close your eyes, either lie down or sit, and receive the healing vibrations of sound. Now you may do this one-to-one -one, or more commonly people do this with a sound therapist in a sound bath where you just relax and allow the sound to relax you as you lay there and simply focus on how beautiful the sound and the healing vibration is. The seventh type of meditation or the seventh meditation technique is moving meditation. Now, if you find sitting still difficult, <laughs> that's okay. You can still meditate. Moving meditation, you can do whilst you're walking or when you're running or doing any repetitive movement like gardening. Some people might be, it might be knitting or crocheting. Colouring has also become quite popular recently. So it's something that focuses the conscious mind on the movement, on that rhythmic repetitive movement that produces a meditative effect. It's really difficult to say that word, meditative. But, it, you know, a, a meditation effect. Maybe I should have said that. <laughs> and incidentally, moving meditation is really good if you struggle with anxiety. If, you know, sitting still, I, I manage anxiety myself, so I really do empathise. Managing anxiety by sitting still and closing your eyes is not helpful sometimes. And so if you do have anxiety, moving meditation might actually be the best place for you to start, especially if you're having a panic attack. Now, obviously, you know, you follow your healthcare provider's advice, but it's beautiful and it's also really empowering to know that there is something that you can do within your control at times when we can feel so out of control. So just because you have anxiety doesn't mean that meditation isn't for you. It can actually be incredibly helpful. So sweet souls. Which of these meditation techniques do you find most appealing? Let me know in the comments below. Were there any techniques that surprised you and thought, I didn't know that was meditation? Let me know in the comments below and I'll really look forward to hearing what you think. I have an invitation for you. If you'd like to meditate live for free with me <laughs> or even on the replays, I actually hold a weekly meditation session within my group called Soul Sessions. We've, at the time of recording this, we're just over around 40 sessions, 40 weekly sessions, and it involves um, a breath meditation, a guided relaxation, so a body scan meditation, and also either a 
guided visualization at the end or a guided meditation at the end as well so if you're interested in that my group's called sacred huntress tribe and you'll find the link in the description box below give it a whirl so if you're exploring well-being and your spiritual journey then hit subscribe and ding the bell to be notified by youtube every time i release a new video meditation has so many benefits just give it a go and if one style doesn't suit you then switch to something else it doesn't matter you just find whatever works for you schedule it and really commit and lean in to that meditation practice and if you you do need a little bit more encouragement do be sure to check out this video which will give you an overview of all of the different benefits all of the different healing benefits physically mentally emotionally spiritually to cultivating a meditation practice and i'll put the link in the description box below as well remember that there's a unique contribution only you can make to the world so be well be yourself and shine brightly beautiful souls I'll see you in the next video.